morning, beautiful people. It is a very special day here at our house. I swear I have been planning this day since about July. Yep, we are surprising our kids today with a trip on the Real Life Polar Express. I have loved this book since I was little. Anthony took the kids out this morning so I could put together an extra special Christmas breakfast. I will also be decorating the outside of my house with some simple and beautiful decorations. So stay tuned to see how that turns out. So I thought I would make our sweet elf a part of the festivities, but you know you can't touch the elf. So of course, had to put on all the protective gear so he doesn't lose his magic. Back in July, when I knew we were gonna be going up to the North Pole, I found an elf size train conductor outfit and a ticket booth on Etsy, which was Christmas magic at its finest. And I can officially say I have lived a full life now. One of the funnest parts about the Polar Express is that all the kids get to wear their Christmas pajamas. So I got some new ones for Marley and Pearson. Of course they are matching. I will be making my kids wear matching pajamas until they are 18. <laughs> my house, my rules. I added some fun peppermint garland and some cute little signs for a cute whimsical look. I think these little gift bags turned out so cute. If you're new to my channel, my name is Rose and I post all things motherhood, motivation, holiday magic. And I would love it if you would subscribe and let me know you're here. So at this point, I was rushing to make the kids breakfast because they were on their way back with Anthony. So I wanted to throw together a waffle charcuterie board of sorts. I got this mini snowflake waffle maker from Target, added some fun snowflake marshmallows and some fruit and called it good because the North Pole was calling our name. Same procedure every year. I just can't get enough. I drink till Rudolph reappears. A toast to him, that red nose dear. Jingle them bells and frolic, it's the best day. We are going on the Polar Express to the North Pole. I'm loaded. Sexy? Are you getting sexy for everyone I'm, I'm watching? Preparing to be Anthony. Sexy. Christmas. <laughs> You're not allowed on the vlog. Last week of December, for me the Christmas spirits flow as early as September. It's the best of seasons. Come and raise your glass. How many times have you been in and out since it opened here? Just twice. When did it open? Yesterday. Last night. <laughs> How many pounds are we going to gain in the first week of it being open? How much is that in and out double double way? <laughs> Let's see, three in and outs a day for 12 years. New year, new me. How long it's going to take until I'm, I don't want it in and out. Is a two hour car ride worth going to the North Pole? Yes. How dare you? We're going to the North Pole! They are the What is going on with your driving? So right when we got on the train, they had chefs and servers dancing and singing. They served hot chocolate and delicious chocolate chip cookies and even some Polar Express mugs for the kids to take home. 
The train was decorated so beautifully and the vibe was just everything and more. It was so worth every penny. If you're wondering, we are in Texas. I know they have the exact same thing all over. So if you have one next to you, this is a tradition that will last a lifetime. When we got to the North Pole, there were elves dancing around the Christmas tree and Santa was in his sleigh with all the reindeer. All the kids were so excited. It was so sweet. After the train conductor checked everyone's tickets, the train went back to head home. And as we were passing the North Pole, Santa was no longer in his sleigh. So it was definitely a pleasant surprise when Santa climbed aboard and gave all of the kids the first gift of Christmas to all who truly believed. Merry Christmas. Hi, Santa. Hi, Santa. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right, you guys, it is finally time to decorate outside. I know I am so late. I almost just put it off until next year, but seeing the lights outside means so much to my kids. So I am just gonna do some simple decorations out here and I actually adore the way that it all turns out. I wanted to go for a neutral and classic winter wonderland and I loved my Halloween pumpkin arch so I thought why not do a Christmas arch instead of pumpkins I am adding some garland some ornaments and snowflakes with lots of lights of course the struggle was definitely real this day so brought in Anthony to help out without giving away too many details it's that time of the month if you know what I mean so I will take all the help that I can get minute while Anthony's helping me to admire his tights that he wears to the gym. It was a full-blown winter snowstorm out here with this garland. I set up a few garlands by myself. I was proud, but this flock was getting all over my dark hair, so I promise it's not dandruff if you see it. We just had a fun time as a family hanging out with each other and with the neighbors, added a few C9 lights that gave the arch just a really pretty glow and then put some snowflakes that I got off of Amazon on for the wintry look. Come let us adore him. You guys know I love a good DIY. I wanted to recreate a popular doormat from Anthropology a few years back. This plain doormat was from Target for around $5, I believe. Just added some cute paint and stenciled on a few details for a cute gingerbread doormat that really sets the scene when you walk inside. Come and behold him, born the king of angels. Come let us adore him. Come let us adore him. Come let us adore him. Come on in, come on. Amazing. You know, another DIY. Marley loved this nutcracker when we were out Christmas shopping, so of course, had to give him a little pastel makeover. Just had a cozy morning in, watching all the Christmas movies and eating way too many cookies. We'll be dancing round the tree. So let us have a swinging Christmas just like one, two, three. We know the time is short. We blink and then it's gone. 
added some twinkling stars for the arch. I got these off of Amazon as well. If you guys have watched my other Christmas decorating videos, stars were definitely a theme throughout my home as well as fairy lights and these are both so you know I had to have them. So just added these and some poinsettia for a classic Christmas look. a few more ornaments for some fullness and once the arch was done it was time to blow up our ginormous Olaf inflatable we have had him for years Olaf has been a favorite of ours since Frozen came out and he went perfectly with our winter white wonderland theme out here Pearson kept talking about wanting a star shower I had no idea what he was asking for but he saw this snowflake projector and he was begging for it. It was the perfect final touch on our outdoor decorations for the year. And it was simple. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Let me know how you're doing in the comments below. This week was crazy for us. So I hope you guys are having a peaceful holiday season with the ones you love. And I will see you in the next video. Merry Christmas. Come on in, come on up, come on over. It's the friendliest time of year Come on up, come on in Nothing better than to give the gift of cheer So come on in, come on up, come on over We'll be singing all the songs So let us have a swinging Christmas Just like one true